Hey guys! Good morning adventurers! We're really excited today because we're hanging out in Athens, Greece for the first time. Woo! For those of you who do not know, Athens is located on the mainland of Greece in the very south. It has around 660,000 inhabitants and we are going to take you around today and show you some amazing sights. So excited, but who are you and where is Anna? Oh, I'm Allison and Anna's right there. Hey guys! And that's Eric. those two crazy kids are they are the endless adventure we are hanging out with them in Athens they're actually shooting a couple of their own vlogs right. and we will tell you more about that later so right now we are in the National Garden in the middle of Athens and it's free to come here it also might be dubbed botanical garden we still haven't figured that out yet or maybe that's in here but we will so let us know in the comments <laughs> hopefully we do not miss it <laughs> So if you're wondering where this place is, it's very central, smack dab in the middle of Athens, right next to the parliament building, actually. It's very close to the ruins. Also, I think it's 38 acres in the middle of this enormous city. It's very peaceful and quiet. I like it. Yeah, you would not know it. Eric, what, did, uh, what do you think you found in here? Uh, I'm looking. I'm on the hunt for peacocks. All right. All right. We, hear, we hear something out there, but... Uh, I don't see it. Guys, what is going on? We just found this little guy. How are you, bro? It's always a li little bit unexpected to walk into a city park and find a barnyard what? right in the middle. What is going on over here? That's a <laughs> Why is this here? I think it's really cool, though. It is cool. Yeah. Okay, but now the next task, we gotta find some rooms. We were in Rome, we will link that up here so you can check it out. The cities are very, very different, but one thing that they have in common is that you can just walk down the street and run into these random ruins. So cool. I love that they section them off. So you're just walking down the road and you can kind of hang out there. I think Eric and Allison are over there getting some info. So apparently it was a Roman bath here. Yeah, and we just learned that uh, Roman baths used to be filled with monsters back in the day. Yeah. That's kind of scary. I don't want to go in that <laughs> bath. Hadrian, also known as Hadrian's Gate. It opened up in 131 AD and they actually named it oh. to welcome the Roman Emperor Hadrian to the city. It's so big and that's why I'm holding the camera on this angle right now because I don't know. That has to be at least five or six stories high. That's very impressive for how old it is. Absolutely. And speaking of old, so right behind us here is the Temple of Olympian Zeus. It is dedicated to the god Zeus. You actually have to pay to get in. That's why there's gates behind us and we did not pay. But I think it's about six euro. Uh, get this. Construction started in the 6th century BC. Crazy. And it took 600 years to build. There are, of course, some amazing temples throughout the entire city. The best known one is the Acropolis. That's the one that sits on yeah. top of the hill. We're not going to go there, actually. But. <laughs> so yesterday, we went out with the Endless Adventure, and we filmed a video on their channel. We'll link it below about the most amazing views in all of Athens. And well, you'll be able to see the Acropolis and a whole bunch of other amazing spots. So right now we're walking through an area called Placa and it's right under the Acropolis and it's the oldest area in all of Athens. It's really known for its cute streets, lots of yeah. cobblestones, restaurants, and boutiques. Okay, so we officially found the uh, typical European alleys with all the souvenir shops and the restaurants. It just has a Greek spin. Now, Usually these lead to a square or some kind of cathedral. So I'm very curious. We're gonna like come out around. One. What's at the end? All right, 
right guys, we just came over to this donut place and uh, we heard you had to try these Greek donuts so we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what it's all about. So we're pretty tired, we have stopped for a little Greek snack. There's these little fried dough balls, almost like a donut. They're called lukumades, I think I'm saying that correctly, hopefully. Anyway, we're gonna give them a go, we got two types. So what we got here is some honey and cinnamon and then there's feta inside this one with like a pepper honey. So we can't wait to try this out. If you guys wanna see more on this, we're gonna be linking to their video where they go in depth on this and a whole bunch of other amazing dishes. Going for the sweet one first. There's so much honey down there. We coat it. Look at that. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so the first thing I noticed it's kind of crispy on the outside. And then when you bite into it, it's kind of like a little dough explosion. Ooh. Mm. And then obviously nice and sweet from the honey. But that cinnamon definitely adds an extra little heat to it. So. so I have your feta and pepper honey. Look at that. Mm. It's so savory and there's a bit of sweetness going on in there. Then there is an explosion that happens like as soon as you bite in. I have to think it's very different than the sweet one, but man, I might just switch into a savory kind of guy after this. It's, this is on point. We just came across this really gorgeous church as we were walking. It has these really beautiful porticos above us. And guys, check out the detail though. So if you were following along so far, you know that we were recently in Bologna. Bologna, Italy, and there they're actually known for the porticos. They have tons of them everywhere. If you didn't watch it yet, click up here. Now, we think there's a market that's really close by. Did you find that on the map or something? Yeah, it's called Central Market. Central Market. So I don't know if we have any more room to like eat anything, but we're gonna go check it out. We gotta check out Street Market. Central Market, a little bit more our jam. It smells a little better because there's nuts and spices and good things like that here. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot cleaner and nicer looking this way. Also, if you're in the market for an exotic bird, you can come pick one up here. <laughs> Keep it down over there. We have now made our way into an area it's called something like Siri or Siri. I'm probably saying that totally, totally, totally wrong, so <laughs> please forgive me. It's kind of the up and coming, gentrified, hip area, lots of street art, lots of art galleries, great restaurants, cafes, that kind of thing. Oh, we found some kitties. Hello, guy. There are lots of cats in Athens, isn't there? Yeah, it's something we haven't talked about yet, but there are cats everywhere you go. I have to say, man, in Athens, I think it's pretty cool so far. Yeah, it's very cool. There's so many, uh, so much old stuff here mixed with the yeah. new that every corner you turn, you see something that's like thousands of years old, and then you see something that can be brand new. It's very yeah, cool. Yeah, you couldn't ask for much more. And then throw in those cats. You got a perfect city. And also that graffiti area is very neat because just like a couple blocks away you have like bars and this whole bustling yeah. area and then you turn one corner and it's covered with all this really cool graffiti and there's hardly any people there so you can get a bunch of really nice photos. Love it. The city so far is blowing us away. Very cool. The one behind me is definitely one of the more interesting art pieces that we've seen. I don't know if I've ever seen that disconnection before, how they... Yeah, they, look. Yeah, like this, this is going to be hard to pick up on the camera until I get close. Her face looks like it's distorting, but it's not. So on the front wall is the bottom half of her face, but on the back wall on the other side of the building is the top of the face. That is so cool. It has been so much fun 
hanging out in Athens this week with the Endless Adventure. It has. We had a whole week with those guys and it was, we just had a blast. Now make sure you go over to their channel. We'll put the link in the description below. They filmed two videos of this place and well, we're in it. Now Athens has been unbelievable. Yeah. A big surprise, we did not expect this. Yeah. Definitely a great vibe and then you're walking around and there's all these like incredible ruins everywhere. Yeah, I think Eric said it before. I mean, you have the ruins and then the unexpected part for us was these neighborhoods. Um, we honestly thought it would be a pass-through area. I mean, we were excited to come here, but we were thinking that this would be a hub to get to the islands, and now we're glad we had the whole week, right? Absolutely, and I think a lot of people do You just use it as a hub, and you definitely shouldn't overlook Athens. You should schedule at least a few days here. Yeah, and guys, so just want to make sure, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell to follow along. I'm Trevor, this is Anna, and while we go on a lot of adventures and we love to have you along, and uh, in our last vlog, we were in Rome. So if you haven't watched that yet, make sure to check it out. And next up, Naxos. Ooh, Naxos, that's one of the Greek islands. It's gonna be an adventure. We're super excited. All right, guys, that's it. From Athens, Greece, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.